Today's episode of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by Jennifer C. at HomeLifeCultureLink.com, Nino Saimeka at MortgageGodfather.ca, and Jewelry Forever at JewelryForever.ca. Enjoy the show. Broadcasting live from Glenmore Record Studios in Toronto, this is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown, your Sunday morning talk show with interesting guests, live musical performances, and the most fun you can fit in your coffee cup. Hosted by Scott Dion Brown and Regine Elena, this This is is The Sit Sit Down Down with with Scott Scott Dion Dion Brown. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 56. <laughs> I believe it's episode 56. We're not live. We're not live. So now I'm ultra confused. <laughs> but I believe it's episode 56 of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown. And uh, I'm your host, as always, the one, the only. That you know of. That I know. No, I'm the only one. In the world of Scott Dion Brown, joined by the best co-host in the galaxy, the one, the only. Regina Lena, happy Sunday, fun day, everyone. We are so excited for you to be here. Yes, Scott mentioned that it is a pre-recorded episode, but who cares? It's still fun anyway. We are pre-recording because I because am. Scott's I too am, busy on vacation. I am, yeah. At this very moment, I am in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, having a very... An Amster damn good time. <laughs> that was good. Okay, whatever you say. Um, so we're not live, but I just want to send a big congratulations to Winnipeg Blue Bombers for winning the Grey Cup. Wasn't it a good game, Regine? Yeah. So I'm actually going to add it in. I'm going to add in who it was afterwards. Did you have to say that? Well, I guess we'll see. But uh, anyways, um, Regine, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hang on. T- talk for a second. Talking. You should I be a little closer to your mic if you can. Or I can turn you up. Let me turn you up. There we go. Hello. Is that better? That's better. He was so focused on our guests, he forgot about me. So That's focused. Why. Yes, there we go. We're good. Um, well, should we meet our guests? I want to. I'm I know of, some of them. That's but true. I mean. And I'm kind of excited because we've never had this many people in the studio before. No. Which is kind of a, a first. I have an intro. I'm going to read the intro for them. And you gotta we'll read them. it the way I read it. How did you read it? Just read it. Our guest today mm-hmm. is a Pinoy hip hop group based in Toronto. <laughs> based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Their name is a combination of their roots, the Philippines, being located in Southeast Asia, and the group's business mentality in the sense that as a cartel looks to push dope or drugs, but so does the group look to push out dope good music. <laughs> Mm-hmm. To the people. With American and Pinoy influences, the group's English Tagalog music is a blend of old school and new school written around unforgettable hooks. Whether a song has a simple or complex message, this group aims to reach Filipinos all over the world with relatable quality music. Mm-hmm. But, but, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show Southeast Cartel. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Okay, it was good. Pinoy hip hop in the building, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what my um, my goal for this episode is to get Scott to somewhat freestyle in Tagalog. What? Oh, oh in Tagalog. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't. I mean, I, could, I don't even so. think I could freestyle in English, but in Tagalog. This I is would why be. that's like my goal for the episode. I, Do I you mean, guys want to see Scott rap? Yeah. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> well, it's not live, but uh, just be leave a comment down below. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. So, how are you guys? Awesome. Good. Awesome. Do you guys want to introduce good. yourselves? Chilling. Yeah, let's go down. Let's go down the line and intro- introduce yourselves. All right, you go first, sir. Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what's good? Barkley Bakes in the building. What's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? It's your boy Vision. Yeah, yeah. It's Kid Skills. It's your boy Franchise. 
and I go by the name of Reggie. Shout out to the uh, sparkling water that uh, Scott and them provided, man. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know, almost done mine. You I know, gotta guys, try it out. Only the really, best. Really only the best here. This is a fancy program. I have mm -hmm. played. And I, spared, no I have like probably tap water, Ooh. and these guys have sparkling. No, I, I had to spend. I oh spent God, all the amazing. budget on their on their <laughs> on the sparkling water. <laughs> you and I just get tap. You gotta get the wow. pinky up. This is the first time I'm trying out a sparkling water. I like it. It's nice. It's fizzy. You know. Sip on that pinky. I see you have um the OVO champion ship hat yes sir so, so scott actually s lined up for how I went, long i waited in line for five hours i got nothing and they were sold out when i got oh. there yeah that was sad. they but, released it yeah they did they yeah. did i know that's why did you did you buy yeah. yours later yeah that was the right way to do it <laughs> you know the other thing is though after i after i waited in line i was like and then then i was getting close to the front and then they came out and they were like, "Sorry, guys, sold out." Oh. Actually, 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 my fiance gave this to me. Oh, oh beautiful! Oh. Big shout out. Nice. Well, I got to the front of the line and they said it's sold out. So I was just like, after that, I was like, "Fine, I don't, I don't even want one anymore." So, I know because so I never mind. But you still <laughs> waited in line. I did five hours. I got there like six in the morning. Ooh. But you know. Yeah, but people were lined up. Yeah, till the, the night, night before. before. Yeah, yeah, night yeah, yeah. Before it's crazy. In fact, actually, what I heard. In fact, that's the thing that kind of annoyed me was I heard that. So there were a bunch of people that showed up the night before mm -hmm. and they waited and everything. And then apparently the morning of like an hour before it opened, a bunch of people came in and rushed the line wow. and they like cut in front of everybody. Oh, that's rude. And apparently security didn't even really do anything about it. So that's why it was like a oh. huge mess afterwards. Yeah, it was crazy. All so, for the Raptors. That's crazy. All for the Raptors. So, you know, that wasn't cool. But I'm glad you got a hat because it is a nice hat. It's actually he's just jealous. Nice That's like he's like staring no, at it. The whole thing time. Is it's, it's, it's like really dope. it's like now every time I see one, it's like my eyes always catch it because I'm like, how did you get that? You get <laughs> I know. <it? laughs> uh, they are good hats. And it's going out uh, for like 180 now or 120. How oh, really? much was it when they were? Oh gosh. Uh, how much was it originally? How much were they, uh, like 70. I think 70. Beyonce, 70. How much was it? Originally? 60, 70. Cause I, I I have the I have the one that came out right after they won. The, Me too. Cause like guess the, who lined up for a hat? Oh yeah, that's right. So yeah, it's like, so I lined up at Eaton Center for the first one, like the not not the OVO one, just the, the uh, regular championships. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I got that, and I I think I only waited in like two hours at Eaton Center. For I was like, that. so while you're in, so line, I grab I grabbed four. Yeah. Yeah, I grabbed one for her. Grab one for a couple other friends, and then so so I had that one already. I think that one was sixty, and then it was fourteen dollars to have like Kawhi Leonard's signature, like in oh. stitched stitched onto yeah. it. Yeah. And, uh, so I got that. I got oh, it. He's blurred. I went all out. But uh, but I, I did once I started seeing them wearing those hats. I was like, that's fancy. I want that. But it's just OVO. That's what makes it fancy. Yeah, but it's also the text. Like there's something about it. It kind of reminds me of like a Crown Royale or something. You know the mm -hmm. Crown Royal. It's like just something about it. Yeah. Right. It's a nice. Uh, thing. <laughs> he, I'm telling you, he's so bitter. He wants six your hat. Nine, <laughs> nine, you know? But okay, so you're talking about their swag. But can we talk about his SEC sweater? Oh. oh yeah, yeah, I brought it in today because I knew we were doing the interview, so I had to rock it. Nice. I don't know why these uh, correct. these mm. group members of mine <laughs> came got without representing. Oh, you got one. I was gonna wear it, but it's nice. Yeah, me too. I was going to. Mine's yeah. in the laundry. This is just one of <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the <laughs> merch we do have. We've nice. actually released a couple more. <laughs> Sweet. But this is the um, like the classic high school kind of style. So. You know what it reminds like me of? It. it reminds me of, like. Our, our college sweaters. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Because yeah, yeah. I went to George Brown, so it reminds me of the GBC sweater. Sweet. I actually went to George Brown too. <laughs> was that your inspiration? No, no. Oh. <laughs> so that merch is available? <laughs> uh, we actually just sold out and we had one more left. Someone bought it today. Well, Ooh. you could have given me one. Huh? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Do you, do you think you'll get more in stock? or? Um, we might be doing uh, brand new ones because these oh, are designers over here. So. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we'll let you guys know when we have new ones coming Look out. Oh, yeah. where, where do people, you, where, where can people like go like when, when it comes uh, out? Usually uh, we have a, a store on southeastcartel.com. That you yeah, can go to. Yeah. We have a website. Yeah. website. And um, when we do a lot of shows, we actually do pre orders. Mm -hmm. So some of our uh, supporters and fans, they'll pre order and send us all the money. And then during the show, they pick up their merch there and they wear it during the show. So that's always pretty cool. Awesome. Can, can we throw in our uh, sit down mugs on there too? Oh, our mugs? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> See these Look fancy mugs. We need, Best we mugs need our own now, too. Uh, there we go. Remember the Everybody's got a mug. Pinky's um, up, guys. You, 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 <laughs> can, you can get yourself a mug I'm at... Um, pinky. I'm bringing this home. Teespring.com. Oh, okay, yeah. You gotta get the pinky. Get the pinky. Look at those. Look at those fancy. Look at how good they look. Look at that. White and it's just classic colors. Um, you can get yours today at teespring.com slash the sit down mug. And while we're at it, I'll show the, I'll show the graphic, Regine. There it is. Get yourself a mug. The Teespring, teespring.com slash the sit down mug. So freaking fancy. So going back to your sweater. So that's like your original hoodie. 
Okay. Um, this is probably like our third release. Yeah, this is third the third release. release. Yeah. Yeah. So what did the first one look like? Chai's, what was the first one? It was the just a t-shirt right? back then, right? Yeah, it was, oh, it was a t-shirt. No, the yeah. first one was uh, a crew t-shirt. neck. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, cool. It's the, uh, the original. Our original logo, logo design for for the first mixtape that we ever recorded yeah. as a group. So how long ago was that? That was like over 10 years. Over no, a decade? No, nine, nine years. years. Nine years. Oh, nine years. Oh, ten, years. nine years. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So you guys have been together for, yeah, just oh, just over a decade or around a decade? Yeah. So what's, uh, what's what? changed? 10 years from now, t- thinking about starting out and to now, h- how do you find things? Is it different? Is it is it the same? Oh my God, wait, yeah. you guys started your music career when I started my pageant career. I just took that in. Sorry. There you go. Side, wow. Side. Well, when you started Southeast or That's close to when we were starting Southeast, Southeast. Yeah. 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 But um, before that, we actually had other groups and other artists because yeah. mm-hmm. what you see before you is not, we didn't start off together mm-hmm. doing music. Um, mm-hmm. Everyone here was actually from a different group mm-hmm. or a different like indie label. Mm. And we ended up just meeting each other and realizing that each of us loves music at yeah. the same level and have the same passion. That we ended up joining together, except Keith Skills. He came later because we didn't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he, he just wanted to eat. Yeah, he was just interested. <laughs> he for was the just there. Nice yeah. rice. I was the cheese. He was there for the munchies. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was very different back in the days. Um, yeah. You know, just let's say we just put aside re- the recording mm-hmm. aspect of it because back in the days everything was still uh, transferring over to digital recording wasn't it like sound clip yeah yeah yeah. Sound, yeah 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 and um it was very hard to record music back then because mm-hmm. we didn't have the same technology yeah um so we were doing like stuff on computers using computer mics using headset mics mm-hmm. yeah um so the quality wasn't there yet and none of us really knew how to edit or mix properly mm. oh my we used to record in the washroom man. yeah <laughs> just to get the good <laughs> just to get like the, <laughs> get the, get the, get the reverb or whatever echo, yeah, yeah closet yeah. the yeah. reverb so yeah, Animal, back, okay. yeah. MSN days. <laughs> so back, I think back then, quality-wise, music-wise, it was harder to get what we wanted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, and then now, everything's a bit more um, accessible, and it's not as expensive, thankfully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Um, everything's leapt. It, everything's leapt forward a lot in the last. Yeah. Especially oh, yeah. In the last few years. I mean, just the stuff you can get now, and what, basically once you get it in the in the computer. It's like you can pretty much do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you just got to get a clean, right. you know, get a solid vocal in there, and then everything else. Yeah, this, it's pretty awesome. Actually. So here's my question, because I know you guys make your own music now, but back in the day, like say nine, ten years ago, were you on what's that website where you would download music from? SoundCloud. No. no, years ago. LimeWire? Yes. Lime Would you like download Lime your beats oh, from no, there? No, 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 and no, that's, no. So, that's, so, that's like that's even like before us. LimeWire, Kazaa, BearShare. Kazaa, yeah. Kazaa, yeah. BearShare. I think. That's virus. <laughs> that, I got my first virus Sophie's, from there. Yeah, I, I think you guys did it from it. there? Yeah, we did it from there. What so, about you, Chais? Because uh, Ian, what, what do we uh, do? I don't know. SoundClick it's usually. All the way 2006, yeah. I didn't bro. search my name on LimeWire. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but what, Ian, was it, sir, Vision, was it SoundClick? We, we got it from SoundClick, a lot yeah, of the it's beats. Crazy. Yeah. And um, the community, like the online community back in the days was pretty solid. Because mm-hmm. um, yeah. on, if you guys don't know like what SoundClick is, it was similar to SoundCloud and MySpace, but it was like the first one mm-hmm. before these. And you guys okay. got um, charts too, right? Yeah, and they had charts yeah. and rankings. Insane, and um, I think it was made for like the uh american audience Mm -hmm. but the filipinos all over the world ended up getting into it really really heavy and there must have been like thousands of filipino artists on that uh, or hundreds at least even back then i find that pinoy hip-hop or rap itself was huge like that's when Mm -hmm. it just kind of boomed like you guys were in the mix with the barcadas and all of that like Okay, I think now we she need knows, to talk to we, I know, I know what I'm talking about. She knows some so here's history. The, here's the thing. She knows no, the history. Here's wow. the thing. Here's so, the thing. So I am born in Phil, uh, born in Canada, but I don't, I never spoke to Gallo growing up. But I did have friends that knew people in the Barcada. So then I, I'm from Mississauga. So I kind of went in that realm. And that's how I learned how to speak the Gallo, was listening mm. to Glock 9, listening to Andrew E, listening to all of them rapping. Mm. So I'm going to bring up this photo that I actually... Oh, see. yeah, Regina found this, I'm, I'm, she found this by, like, by accident, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. I, I'm, I'm kind of worried I'm, now. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, same here. Okay, so... I'm kind of worried. Scott, you're going to put it on... Yeah, yeah I'll put it on the screen see. and then you can, like, we can pass Ooh. your phone. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, boy. Okay, let's so... There's one. Drum roll, please. Regine, what? So describe... No, show them first, show them first. So describe what this is. So that was oh, at the GMA oh, that's a GMA thing. GMA, GMA hip hop rap competition. That was the first time I saw it. Oh, 2010. Yeah. Not the fir- yeah. 
we that's were, when we talk about SEC. We were in Southeast, yeah. We were in we Southeast, were in Southeast, Southeast yeah. yeah. We were competing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were in Southeast, oh, word. yeah. DB won that, yo. Yeah, yeah they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. DB won that. There's oh, more, there's more. We want to see. Let me Should see. they scroll or do you want to get it back and switch to the next one? Figs, man. And then there's, there's one more photo, I think, next to it if you want to look at it as well. Were you there, Keith? Yeah, I was at the back. There's actually a few here. You were there? Yeah. Who was performing here? It was me, you. It was me, you, um, and check. Check. That's it. Oh, I know. I know there, exactly right? what's going on here. There's a judging, right? Yeah, yeah. We're there, we were waiting for the results. Yeah, yeah. But um, how much was that. it again? Like, oh, oh, let me see. oh, so uh, this is me and Raging. Oh, oh, so it's the second one. Classic yeah. picture. Yeah. That's right? classic. Yo, we should. You guys should ask for this picture. So. I sent it to him. Yeah, I have it. That's oh my god. But I, didn't, I, I wanted you guys to see it here first. <laughs> Holy I you guys. Oh, that's pretty dope. So what was this event? So for for our for our viewers who are now seeing the photos, what what what, what was that event? That was, was the GMA Hip Hop and Pinoy. Oh no, GMA Hip Hop Rap Competition back in 2010. So this was the year that I did PIDC. Okay. And so they also were really big in getting hip hop out there. Oh, you got bucket flavor too, right? And yeah, so they yeah. were all there. These guys were all there. Yeah. So and what, I was in the crowd. So what do you guys long, what do you guys remember from that event? Um, there was uh, basically two segment mm. segments in that event. I remember there was a hip hop dance crew. And yeah, exactly. Was, yeah. Yeah. One was a rap competition, and the other one was a dance competition, yeah, hip hop right? dance. Mm. Hip hop dance, yeah. With bucket flavor, won that. Did they see this one? Yeah, yeah, I think they did. I think that was one of the first ever hip hop competition. Hip hop competition in terms of like the Galograph mm-hmm. that I've ever experienced. Mine too. I mean, <laughs> being in Canada, you know. Yeah, cool. I think at that time, like no one really gave recognition to yeah. you know a rap. Yeah. You know, hip. I mean, dancers. I think they had a bit more of a, a ground. In mm-hmm. the community, but in terms of platform, rap, yeah, platform. Yeah. See, you mean you don't know English that well? <laughs> You're giving me words, yo. Wow. <laughs> um, but um, was that the last time we saw rap rap yeah. before yeah. He before away. he passed away? I think so. That was the last time we saw rap rap, man. That was, was memorable. Yeah. yeah, that was his last event. That was mm-hmm. his last, the last event. performance. Because oh. after that, like I think two two years or three years later, we we didn't really saw rap rap no. after that, no. I don't know. No, and then, then don't it's remember. been a while. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Scott's oh, no. like, what's going on? Oh, no. <laughs> like Scott, a, were you in this event? I wasn't. I don't think so. Where was it? I don't think I was there. It was at the Kalea. Uh, no, no, not Korean. at Kalea. Korean. Korean. Korean Cultural Korean Center. Yeah. 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 I mean, actually... I've hosted events there, but I don't think you I hosted there. that one. No, no, no. That doesn't seem the like only thing I've, thing. The only thing I've hosted at that one is, um, like, I've hosted several PIDC pageants, pageants yeah. at that at that venue. But I've never... So, there you go. Little trip down memory lane for you guys. Um, oh, so you, you, you're at PIDC? Too? Yeah, I was... Uh, Oh, yeah, I was are. Mr. Philippines PIDC at one point, wow. and then nice. and then whenever they have the whenever they have the pageant, they usually bring me in to be the, the host of the show. Oh, I see. That's it's, awesome. uh, my my girlfriend's mom. She works at PIDC. Do you thought Bea? Yeah. Oh, okay. we had Bea on our show. Yeah, Bea's sister. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. We shout got, out to you shout guys. Out to never Bea. had Hello. Barkley Biggs on your show. Oh though. no, no, no. This thing. You can do time. catwalks too. Oh, we have room. walks. He's I used to do that. No. <laughs> Already know, man. You can't you watch. I used to. Guys, let's Oh, that's continue. the coolest dance ever, man. Like, <laughs> of course, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the best dance that ever came out. Nope. Harlem Shake. Nah, bro. Harlem <laughs> Shake. Walk, man. Okay. See, he's more influential. Leave a comment down close. below. Which one was the best? <laughs> Harlem Shake. See what? Actually, you know what I want to ask? Now, just seeing, even here, we're seeing a few disagreements what's it like creating music with like five guys working together what's it what's it but like more of you two, or more right? yeah, yeah we were people, so so shout what is it like people, eh? yeah yeah uh, you guys you aren't able to make it but yeah so what's it like like how do you guys create new songs you work individually and bring it to, to the group or, or how, how do you work you guys want to answer this yeah usually, well sometimes oh, sorry my bad go go go, 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 yeah. go bro go, no go. usually i i make the hooks Mm-hmm. Cool. And um, I just send it to them, and if they like it, then whoever likes the hook, basically, and whoever wants to hop in, mm-hmm. and <laughs> it, it always ended up that everybody wants to hop in. Like every time we do a, a song, mm-hmm. like we just get that 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 vibe, you know, that same energy when it comes to like making music. And after I sent them the hook, then right on the weekend. 
that's it. So the, the weekend is usually cool. where yeah, we go to the we, studio together every yeah. Saturday. Oh, nice. We try to dedicate that day to just making music. Making music. Yeah. Cool. So who does your videos? Because your videos are, are pretty sweet. The vision. The vision. So the vision's vision. got the vision yes. of, of the videos. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, vision. Speaking of videos, let's talk about let's talk about blessings. Yeah, because you guys have video, a right? lot of views on that for only a week being out. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's 22k it's views, but we're not counting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not counting. 22.5. 22.5 now. Bro, 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 bro. Not not after this, <laughs> but not after. Yeah, this actually, that's right. As as of this. As of this airing, it might be more because like this is we're airing yeah, this a little yeah, bit early. Sure. So. I'm gonna say so, like, wow, at least like 25, <laughs> 30, I think. Wow. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, it just keeps going. Still. So you you guys, sh where, where did you shoot that this past summer? I guess. Yeah. Or because yeah. I saw you're you're in Wonderland, right? Was that the first thing that we that shot? Was the first shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the first one. Yeah, so we wanted the video to kind of have like a really fun vibe um so a comedy vibe. yeah summer i love a little this. bit of comedy yeah uh -huh. Where did, so how about we play the video and then talk about oh yeah i guess that makes sense yeah, cool. okay yeah. so everybody let's uh let's take a look at blessings by southeast cartel Blessings, 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 man, I gotta thank the Lord, though Thankful for my family, I have never been ungrateful Plus I got my baby, man, she drives me to the studio You know we ain't stopping till we f***ing hit the pinnacle Live life, smoke, go have fun Work hard, make money, go get some Turn the power, go get drunk that's how I live my life. Go ahead and live your life. Ayy. What a life. What a life. What a life. What a life. Yeah. What a life. What a life. What a life. What a life. Yeah. What a life. What a life. What a life. What a life. Yeah. That's how I live my life. Go ahead and live your life. Everything has changed, I got them haters looking different now All I really wanna do is go and make my mama proud Life is what you make it, best believe it, I'ma get it now Being grateful even with a zero in my bank account Being patient cause one day gon' pay I have faith that we gon' make it someday Blessings on you, blessings on me Never find a hater doing better than me Nothing but love to the Lord up above We never gon' stop, double dreaming is free Yeah Roll up, on the thing, get high, hey Walks up, swerve it, we stay, hey We live through things, best believe that Brown new daily rap, Assassin's Creed, I slay Big to 20, get the third one, legendary Kim, my sister, Frank and Cheese, and they were family Ray Ray engineered it, giving life to music Bust, bust, I'm scoping, man, our vision is 2020, get it? Ugnay, 
pang lumawak ang pang unawa Manapalataya at saka di ka malulumbay sa kaya Point number leave you see my team of Made it now Last year was a challenge But we made it through the year somehow Learn from our mistakes Oh man, at least we're so much better now Falling with no limit We got money in our bank accounts Cough on the windows Banging that instrumental Feeling good, good, good Smoke that in the wild I cruise around Toronto See them blessings keep on coming Man, as long as you pray They can say whatever And at least we did it our way Blessings, 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 man, I gotta thank the Lord, though Thankful for my family, I have never been ungrateful Plus I got my baby, man, she drives me to the studio You know we ain't stopping till we hit the pinnacle Live life, smoke, go have fun Work hard, make money, go get some Turn the power, go get drunk That's how I live my life, go ahead and live your life, ayy what a life, what a life, what a life, what a life, yeah. What a life, what a life, what a life, what a life, yeah. What a life, what a life, what a life, what a life, yeah. That's how I live my life. Go ahead and live your life. And that was Blessings by South East Cartel. Oh, should we do the ads? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to quickly just do the ads. That incredible video was brought to you by. The vision. <laughs> and. <Or> vision. <laughs> and, and and brought to you by well today's whole episode of the sit down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by the following fantastic advertisers. Hey Regine. Yes, Scott. Do you want to find out what your home is really worth? Sure. Are you buying or selling a home? We'll see. Then Jennifer C, <laughs> realtor at Home Life Culture Link, is here to help. Call or text Jennifer today at six four seven. Oh, wait, let's get a picture up there. There we go. Call or text Jennifer today at 647-403-8887. Don't deal with just anyone. Mm-hmm. Speak to a professional. Mm-hmm. Now, that's right. Jennifer C. <laughs> at Home Life Culture Link. To see your current listings, visit homelifeculturelink.com. Mm-hmm. The Mortgage Godfather is here to give you advice with any mortgage needs you may have. Jeez. And he will shop to find you the best mortgage. Mm-hmm. Nino Saimeka. Mortgage agent. He'll give you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> Regine. Mm-hmm. They found it funny, offer. thank God. <laughs> He'll give you an offer you can't. I think Regine heard that joke. I'm too over many it. Times. Anyways, continue. But anyway, find out more at mortgagegodfather.ca or call 905 604 6955. And it was brought to you by Jewelry Forever. Mm-hmm. Who, of course, last week we raffled off. A watch. They donated a watch, and one of our viewers won a beautiful Seiko 5 watch. So if you gentlemen are looking for jewelry. Yeah, it's a beauty. <laughs> um, so thank you very much, Jerry. It's Jewelry Forever. And if you'd like to get yourself a beautiful watch as well, or other jewelry, they are conveniently located at CF Markville Shopping Center on 5000 Highway 7 East Markham. They do custom-made jewelry, mm-hmm. repairs, and awesome. they change watch batteries all done on site. And guess what else? Guys, guess Guys, what? Guess, guess what? what? You want to know what? This is the best part. If you go to the store today and you tell them Scott and Regine sent you, he'll give you 15% discount. 15% off. That's right. Christmas is coming, everybody. Tell them Scott and Regine sent you. Valentine's and get Day on over there. coming up. Valentine's right Day. Right after Christmas. Get on over there. Tell them Scott and Regine sent you. you. Enjoy a 15% <laughs> discount at Jewelry wow. Forever. Mm-hmm. It's an incredible, incredible place. There you go. And we're back with Southeast Cartel. <laughs> Yes. Um, with, so blessings. blessings. Mm. Good blessings, job, guys. Yeah, Thank blessings you. is super catchy, um, for one. But blessings must have been a blessing for you guys, seeing as how you actually had Glock Nine in your video. Yeah. Oh yeah. How does that happen? Oh my god. I I think over yeah that's you I can answer tell it us, better. How did that happen? Yeah. Yeah. Tell them. It started big, with big. Them. It started tell with you, man. Uh, yeah, because um, me and Glock were like talking. Mm-hmm. But you like close, like like this? Not, not really. Oh, okay. It's just that um, <laughs> they're talking now. I was okay. just yeah. we have each other. They have each other on Facebook. Right? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We, we, we have each, each other on Facebook, and then um, I was just like thinking like we we have a show coming, right? So yep. I was like thinking, yo, Ian. I called Ian right away. Yo, Vision. And I, I, mean, I was like, Tom, why don't we ask Glock a Glock to be in our video? Mm. What do you think? He said, Yo. That would be crazy. And I tried yeah. messaging him, right? I tried to be professional as I can. <laughs> I tried so much. How did you ask him? How did you ask him? I I asked him like, um, I thought. yo, Kuya Glock. Kuya Glock. Yo, Kuya Glock, you're a big homie. Like, we're a big fan of you. 
you know, I'm big of Satis Cartel, and we're wondering if we could actually have you on our video because we have our video, and he actually said yes. That's so. Sad. And I was like, and when I showed the whole team, the whole team freaked out, and I was like, wow. <laughs> most awesome. of them are big fan of Glock. I'm yeah. a big fan of Glock. Like, everybody, mm -hmm. everybody in the group actually yes. is a big fan of Glock. I wanted to go to his concert. Yeah. I was so upset. I really wanted to go, but I don't know what. I, probably I'm seeing somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm that's true. You can I really wanted to go. In fact, you haven't had like an actual weekend in like a year. Yeah, no. yeah. So Regina has actually, to do a lot of events yeah. on the weekend. That's actually really sick though that you guys were able to get yeah. him. You guys opened for him and then he did you the favor yeah. basically and did that for you guys. He's very humble. He's very humble. He and um man, we looked up to him like he's he's le he's legendary. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh bro, do you mind if I tell them a story of like how go we ahead. shot it? Go ahead, go ahead. Tell yeah, the story. Cause, cause Every every scene that we we shot for this music video, we kind of have like a, a little story in the background. <laughs> so like the ice cream truck scene. Where, where did you get? Yeah, an ice actually, cream I just want to ask you. Yeah, where, like how did you? Where did okay, you now now we gotta from? bring the explanation to this guy over here. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay wait. Do you want to tell your? Okay, well, no. No, we, I want to okay. know how I got the ice cream truck first. Okay, okay. okay yeah. I'll tell the stories after. So wait, 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 we'll just describe. Wait, 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 how did you get an ice cream? I want an ice cream truck. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas is coming. <laughs> um. I don't know. It's just like. It just happened. Yeah, it just happened. I just like um because usually before we do the do like uh the music video and stuff like we we always share ideas and stuff like what do you think you know it's the best thing to do for this video and stuff and me sometimes I'm very excited I can't help it mm -hmm. even though work days I call them like eleven o'clock in the morning <laughs> twelve o'clock in the morning I just like ask them to, yo yeah you guys have time to talk for a bit. Because whenever I have ideas, I want to tell it to them. Right yeah, I just got to say it right away. Because if, if not, it's gone. But how did you get the ice cream truck? Like, did you just borrow someone's truck? I don't know. I was just listening to the beat. I, just... <laughs> I was like, oh. It's I love like, it. Yeah. It's like, um, I think having an ice cream truck is going to play a big impact to it. Because it has the colorful, colorful. sorry, mm -hmm. my bad. And I don't know, it's just. But uh, right. who, who's the one who ended up? Yeah, finding Regine the wants ice to actually. I want to know how you. Yeah. We want to know how you actually. actually so, oh, okay. Vision, can you explain the process? Yeah, of how so, we got one? To break um, into a truck. Uh, our home girl, <laughs> our home girl, Rydine, she was at an event. I think it was a community event or something. There was an ice cream truck there. And on the back of the ice cream truck, there was a phone number. Oh, so she called it. So she took a picture, ah. sent it to me, and then I I just reached out to them. Reached out. To see, them, uh, yeah. you know, what are their their rates are and stuff like that. But because actually at first we were about to give up with the whole ice cream. Yeah, truck it took idea. us a while. Really? So, so it was like, apparently it costs a lot of money to rent an ice rent cream truck ice cream just truck. to rent it. Mm -hmm. Does it come with the ice cream though? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that. Okay. I like that. So I wish I was on set. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it was kind of we were all about to give up with that whole idea and stuff but good thing um our homegirl kim writing she actually found and sent it to ian and that's it sick awesome that was it, like, it, it looks great in the video i mean like it adds so much to every shot that it's in and it's just oh, like yeah. it's fun and it's it's awesome it's really cool <laughs> yeah the camera, the, and the, camera the guy funny too. thing too is the the guy driving the, tr the ice cream truck yeah. was a photographer Oh my god, so he was like... Yeah. So he knew about he angles, so he was giving us suggestions. Angles. That's awesome. But, he knows the... But um, yeah, so the the funny thing about that is um, in order to get it for a very cheap price, we had to do it early, early in the morning. Early in the morning. Mm. Was it like 8 or 9 in the morning? 7 in the like morning. Nine. Was, is that why there was, was no one on the roads yet? Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes oh, sense. So you got to rent it at a yeah. time when like it's They're not yeah. a high demand for yeah. ice cream, yeah, exactly. right? So yes. imagine, um, so we brought it near near my place, my neighborhood. So... You bring an ice cream truck there at like 8 in the oh morning. <laughs> it's making a lot of noise. And ding, my neighborhood ding, ding, ding. is like full of like neighborhood watch people. Oh gosh. And so on, when we first Ooh. moved, when, when I first moved in there and these guys were coming over. Yeah. Yeah. You see like 8, 9, 10 guys walking to my, my place. <laughs> and people are always peeking out the windows because it's like they've never seen this amount of Filipinos yeah, right? in the area. <laughs> so after after that, they got used to it. Then like a couple years later, they <laughs> end up seeing an ice cream truck, <laughs> an ice cream truck, which is very, very loud. And we didn't even know how loud an ice cream truck can be. Mm. Right, and unless you bring it to a quiet neighborhood, <laughs> yeah. and everybody was staring yeah. out, looking at us. Were people trying to buy ice cream? Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there yeah. was, right? There was. There's people trying to buy ice cream, ice cream while we were shooting for breakfast. Excuse me, can I can I get a can I get a dip comb, please? Oh <laughs> but um, yeah, it was it was very uh, it was very funny. 
Um, I think we only had two. We had only had it for two hours, so we're very two hours. Um, two hours. Yeah. strict so with time. Pl- and those two hours were the only times that the ice cream truck was available that whole week. That whole yeah. week. Oh my god! So, so you had to make sure. Choice. So you, I guess you probably really planned every shot, kind of like you yeah. making sure you knew what you wanted before yeah. you even got it, right? Yeah. Usually when we shoot cool. videos, we always have a shot, um, or sorry, a list of the shots that we want to take, mm-hmm. so that you know we're not wasting any time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then at the end of it, uh, we ended up having ice cream for breakfast. Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. They gave us a uh, free ice cream at the end. So nice. I want ice cream. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. We like ice cream here on the sit down. So you yeah. should have brought some with you. Right. We should get a, we should get an ice cream Last sponsor. Time. We should get an ice cream. We should get an ice cream, an ice cream <laughs> uh, some ice cream truck to sponsor our show. Should we do a show in an ice cream truck? I would. Although it's, you said it's noisy inside the truck. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll see. So how did you come up with the concept of going to Wonderland and then having your plus ones there with you guys how do you convince your plus ones to do a shoot well the whole idea behind blessings is to celebrate the blessings mm. so throughout the video you should just see us having a good time um the ice cream truck uh, wonderland and also just um, enjoying company with uh, our idols clock nine things like that and I saw a nice, uh, there was one shot I saw, maybe a few of them, where you're actually on the roller coaster while you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So how did you, how did oh, you there was a, actually, um, we tried taking a, a, the same shot in a different roller coaster. Uh, if you look in the video, there's two roller coasters. There's yeah. one roller coaster shot um, before my actual shot. Mm-hmm. And um, I was uh, holding the camera like this. It was a GoPro that I was holding. How scared okay. were you that you were going to drop it? <laughs> Uh, like I had like a like a wrist strap with it, mm. so okay, I wasn't so worried. Was, right. But uh, as soon as I stuck it out, uh, one of the workers came out and they said, <laughs> "You can't do that here." <laughs> so oh. I had to put it away. So oh, we had really? to go to a different roller coaster to redo to the shot. Shoot, yeah. Oh, Even the um, when uh, Biggs and Chai's they did the slingshot. Oh, the yeah. slingshot! Oh, yeah. oh my god, how <laughs> was that? <laughs> that was <laughs> yo. We were gonna <laughs> so dope. Is, is that the newest one of the newer no, rides? No, it's you know the one where like you're literally saying that they shoot you up and then you. Go oh, up. that's been there for. I've been on it yet though. I can't but, do that. Okay, yeah. So you did the slingshot, yeah. yeah it's really dope. They're they're trying to um because we were just waiting and we we're trying to get the the footage mm-hmm. and then yeah. Biggs uh tried to sneak uh, a the GoPro. GoPro. Right before they they would you guys would get shot up, so they're like holding holding it up, and then they they stopped you guys too from um, recording. Right. It. Yeah, so the, the shot that you guys had was the only shot that you, we we had of this shot that mm-hmm. when you see on the video, yeah. which is like Chai's a little bit more Chai's than you. Yeah, and then after that, it was um, Vision's um, camera shooting, catching them going up right. and down. That's scary. You know, oh my god, they, I probably would have peed myself. Like, okay. they must after have all staff- the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it wasn't the same day though. No, 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 it wasn't the same day. <laughs> no, 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 it was scary, but while you're in there, it was like the best thing. I man. know. It's you know, like right? it's like you're Shoot Superman, you know? All the way up. You're just flying yeah, straight yeah, up. It's like Superman. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> you know, they, they must have their staff trained to like be watching people. Like, I, I'll bet you so many people try to get on there just not even shooting a music video just like to take a selfie while they're on the ride it must be something they have to deal with all the time oh yeah so they must have staff who are like they they used to have a camera right in front of the seats but they took it out for some reason um they probably fell off (laughs) shout out to um the um the operators there because we were doing a lot of stuff that we were not supposed to for the sake of the music video (laughs) and they had a lot of patience with us so like how many times did it take you to get that basketball shot in which, which one? The, the shoot? Oh, with big your shot. The, that one? Yeah. That took us a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that took us a lot of time. I gotta be brother. honest, that took it, us. A it lot took half of time. my uh, memory card. Right. Oh, but, but I mean, it looked. Right. One take. That was right. the one and only take. That, right. that was the magic of um, the right. silver screen. Yeah. Man, that was insane. Yeah. They, I, I was about to give up. I was like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> do it, do it. So, <laughs> so okay, so you Keep guys going. have a lot of videos, right? Mm-hmm. And we've seen it on your YouTube channel. And we're going to link it down below for everyone to look at it. What is your favorite? Which video is your favorite? Ooh. Ooh, I, I think we all have a separate one. Different. Let's. Uh, I'm going to start off with my favorite, and then we'll go through. Yeah. Um, I have two. The first one was Pari Ice Lang. Mm-hmm. Um, and the second one that I really enjoyed was uh, Gusto Ko Lahat. I like that one actually. Yeah, just because it was it. In, a, in a cottage. Yeah. What about you, Chais? I like Kill Him With Kindness mm. for me. Because uh, for me, I'm like, that was like, we were trying to be really sneaky, trying to shoot right, the video. Right, right, ra- right. Right at the 
TTC Keys property. Chain, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, they're, they're, that's another thing. If the staff sees you there, they're like, uh, yeah, they hey. Yeah. I remember I had a guy come up to me once. I was just taking a sh shot of like a train coming by, mm -hmm. and I had to like show him I was deleting the video. He was like, wow. that, like we yeah, actually yeah. got kicked out right after, but after that, but we already took the good shots. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And then later on, who would have thought like. Now I'm working for TTC. <laughs> <laughs> we, actually, crazy, we actually have a lot of uh, videos in, in the, in, yeah. inside the train, oh. man. Even yeah. QUS. Quattro like, Quattro uno I think a lot of the videos that... That was um, wild. Yeah. That was wild. That but, was, I think that was the wildest like TTC shot yeah. ever. But I think, bro, like the way Vision usually... We used to shoot videos back in the days. Mm -hmm. We would just pick where we'd want to shoot it. Yeah. And we didn't really think if we were allowed to or not we just did it yeah, yeah. Just, we just, just did it because you know. because we've been making music uh like videos before that and we even snuck into an airplane museum i know oh yeah to shoot, know, <laughs> to shoot a music video right. and we we're the only ones there mm -hmm. yeah so but yeah sorry yo keith what's what's your favorite my bad it's all good um for me it would be all i need because the yeah. video you know just all right. having fun Right, so all I need that was sick. like a house yeah, party. Was, yeah. So this might be hard for Vision to answer if he's created yeah, yeah. all I'm these like videos. Thinking the whole time. <laughs> Which um, one's your favorite? Other than blessings, I would say, um, definitely killing with kindness. Um, there were so many scenes and and just a story um, within the videos. Mm. It makes it one of my favorite. Um, and then gusto ko lahat because that was the first time we um, finally upgraded the camera. Was that in the Philippines or? No, that was here. It's oh, okay. up north, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Up north. That's cool. crazy. Yeah. Me, I gotta say. Can I say blessings? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> it's a video. It's a video. <laughs> blessings, man. Like blessings is like. It was supposed to be Gusto Kulaha, but now Blessings is on top. And then the second one, Six Side. I gotta give it to Six Side. Mm -hmm. Oh, Six Side. Six Side for me is just like, I guess it's so. simple, mm -hmm. but the message and the mm -hmm. and everything about it is just amazing mm -hmm. for me. I like I like Six Side. Cool. Yeah. So again, you guys can check down their YouTube channel. Yeah, and right you guys there. are also on, where can they find your music actually? Oh, that's a good idea. Sure. Yeah, um, social media and all that stuff. Yep. So we, we have um, Facebook, Instagram. We don't really go on Twitter, but we should go on Twitter. But just type in Southeast Cartel. So either Southeast Cartel, like one word, mm -hmm. or Southeast underscore cartel. Mm -hmm. But you can always go to our website, www.southeastcartel.com. Mm -hmm. And all of our social medias are there. So you can just click on those and it'll take you directly to, right. to And are, your music's available and our everywhere? Music, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's on all Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music. Mm -hmm. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, yeah. YouTube, YouTube Music. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube music. Yeah. So if you want to see what their favorite videos are, make sure you check down below for there yes sir there. actually, actually, actually YouTube, yeah. thinking of that now because we we do our own little mini snippets of like clips mm -hmm. and videos oh, we should do our own um vi favorite video you should because weren't you up. guys in the works of doing your own yeah. podcast type thing at one point yeah. i think actually, i saw yeah. on your yeah. instagram story. We, we we've we've had a couple of episodes already mm -hmm. um nice. but as as you guys know having a consistent podcast is very hard it's hard very yeah hard. it's a commitment yeah, yeah it's for been sure. a yeah it's been a year so that's the thing we've been going yeah we we had our one one year what a couple a few weeks ago hey, episode oh, 56 nice. yeah, yeah. Wow. so it's pretty good we got up to episode three <laughs> yeah, yeah we're up to episode three <laughs> yeah it's been uh i was concerned i remember when we first started doing it my biggest concern was like oh are we gonna be able to commit to doing it like every week like well, how? And it's your videos and well it's live so there's no like but any no video really that editing. we do it's all him mm, yeah all yeah him, like yeah. I, I do all the editing yeah but like the, the other thing that i like about doing it doing it like this yeah. you know like this one isn't particularly live but because we're kind of at, we're i'm doing the camera switching as we go so it's like i can just as soon as we're done recording it it's pretty much ready to go mm -hmm. and then oh. when it's live usually it actually goes out live right because editing well you yeah you make films you know, yourself right yeah. F editing is what takes the longest like i find i can i've got for my youtube channel even i've got a whole bunch of of uh videos that have already been shot they just need to now be I need to sit down for four or five hours sometimes and like create it, right? But yeah, I mean, if you can set it up so that it's like, well, like how we've got it, it's like, there's no editing afterwards. You just shoot it. It takes an hour to do, and it's done. Right. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to talk with you guys after this because yeah, get some. Yeah, let's talk. You guys have your. He setup. just he just wants yeah. more water. Yeah. Oh yeah, can 
Can I oh. get more water, please? <laughs> we can. <laughs> Banana. Um, the, oh, the... Keith, please. <laughs> no, can you give me it. some of yours? I'll grab it. <laughs> All right. Are we... So that's another Don't upgrade we'll have to make. Yeah. We're gonna get more, need more get more drinks stored next to the oh, table. Oh, yeah. God damn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big boy problems. So, okay, so here's a question for you guys. So, um, <laughs> wait, you, wait, wait. he's getting more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were Thank you, bro. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. 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 This, this is this is how our family is usually. Like, no, no, no. someone's gonna. No, no. Help yeah, each other. right in the fridge there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, bro. Um, so yeah. while he's getting water, <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys, there's a lot of you mm -hmm. all together. But what I think is amazing is. Rim Raymond, you don't speak Tagalog, do you? No, I'm not. Whoa! Okay, just what? Pero, 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 because I'm going to say, a lot of your music is English. Yeah, um, just because I speak very basic Tagalog. So you're like me, we're, we're yeah. Tagalog. But, but he already rapped in Tagalog. Right, yeah. It was Pastor pretty Ray. decent, too. Pretty Ray. decent? So, so I'm nice saying, lyrics. like, so it's cool how, yes, yeah, some, some of you are from the Philippines, some are you from Toronto. Born and raised. Born and raised in Toronto, born and raised in the Philippines. But then you're able to use one person specifically Tagalog, one person specifically English because then now you're getting people like myself who's Taglish to vibe with the music more. Scott understands a verse. <laughs> yeah. What well, so you're saying you were able to learn a lot of Tagalog listening to like I learned music. Tagalog by listening well, I knew I understood it because of my parents. I never really spoke it, but I learned it through OPM, but then also once high school hit I was introduced to Pinoy hip hop and rap, and that's what kind of like, like I said, Andrew E. Glock. And I learned to speak it based on listening to their music. Awesome. So, do you find that you guys are like that? Like, so you're like the new Glock Nine to the new generation. That's so. Mm, that's, that's so. so man, you gotta answer that. Nah. <laughs> so no, well, um, I mean, because like you, like we know, there's not a lot of hip hop yeah. or Filipino rappers yeah, nowadays, yeah. right? Yeah. Well. I guess I would say really what what um, this has now come to be is because Don't we cry. really love okay. no it's because <laughs> we we were really into music you know mm -hmm. we really into like growing listening to like different kinds of stuff experimenting different types of flows so that's why you can see in the description old school new school mm -hmm. whatever you know we we do it. But do you see? Would and you even English and Tagalog? Would yeah. you consider yourself though as an inspiration, or even a learning tool, like for myself, to the next generation of people listening to you guys? I oh yeah. I, I think um, by default, that's what it's come down to. Yeah. 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 By um, default. Because the thing with with SEC right off the beginning was we always wanted to represent our culture, mm -hmm. yeah. but then by default, our culture is two cultures mixed into one, which yeah. is. Our culture back home in Philippines and where we're living at currently which is Canada the Filipino Philippines, um, yeah. and music is for the most part is always like a reflection of your environment mm -hmm. or at least your perception of your environment mm -hmm. uh, so for us you know being Filipino living in Canada mm -hmm. we're not the only Filipinos living in Canada mm -hmm. yeah. so whatever we're gonna be talking about a lot of people are gonna relate to mm -hmm not just being Filipinos in Canada but being Filipinos abroad so like you could be from US Italy, yeah. UAE, like all these other, like we have fans right. there that we didn't know we had. That's so sick. Yeah, yeah you, you'll be yeah. speaking to an experience that a lot of other people yeah. also have, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I so, think yeah. when when that happened and we realized it, that's when we figured out, okay, then I think we're relating to these people because of where we are. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't yes, take that for granted. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, it's very important that we always represent not only being Filipino, but being Filipino outside of Philippines. Because mm -hmm. from a lot of our experience with other people, um, mm -hmm. sometimes when they move out to a different country, um, they kind of want to forget their Filipino side mm -hmm. um, or not really want to say they're Filipino. Yeah. Like the moment they move to like Canada, they're like, no, I'm Canadian. Like, mm -hmm. It's like, well, you're Canadian, yes, but at the same time, you can't forget where you're from. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you can't forget that still dope you know <laughs> that's yeah, why proud, like when we know? started when we started our our first recordings most of our music is really mostly nationalistic but it sounds really dope it's really i don't know you guys just <laughs> check it out you know check out the youtube yeah. right. pa ang rap. Right. Link, link in description yeah mm -hmm. so like you, you, you just said buhay pa ang rap, right my i'm so tagged i'm so sorry um so 
I'm gonna. I want to ask because back in the day, ten mm-hmm. years ago, there were other rap groups out there. Yes. Right. So like the, the likes of the Barcadas and all the other groups that were trying to be trying to become rap groups. Yes. But nowadays, look. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like you guys are the only ones still out there after all this time. Mm-hmm. Do you find it harder to reach a certain? No, actually, there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us. There's now. A Is lot there? Of us. There's a lot yeah. of us. So now. you guys are just the only ones that are popping up. Maybe it's you. That's <laughs> no, 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 no. Because <laughs> you're always on my Facebook. Oh, uh, that's. Uh, I guess we're just <laughs> out more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think it's because we've been doing it for so long. Like, yeah. um, we've kind of established our position. Yeah. In the community, but. We're not the only hip hop groups or hip hop artists that are Filipino yes. now. Uh, shout out to um, MPA, shout MPA, out to High Rock, RDR, shout out to RDR, RDR, uh, Manila, yeah. Forty Four Hollis, Steel Squad. Like, yeah. there's a lot of the new Youngest. generation, new generation um, that's coming out, and I think they've been able to come out because they've heard that there is Filipino hip hop in yeah. Toronto. Right. Um, and the most that we can say is that we were able to hold on from the past mm-hmm. ten, nine years, ten years, till now. And uh, and that way we kept the spirit of what we've been doing and what of uh, our predecessors have done before us, the ones that came before us. We've kept that going for the new generation to actually pick up and hopefully take the mantle and continue when up to a point where we decide, um, you know, like let these guys push the the culture um, because. We're kind of getting old. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, no. But I'm not saying that we're not going to be doing music. <laughs> but obviously, um, doing music, man. We're, we yeah. have a lot of priorities too. Right. And 10 years ago, we were like every really Friday, hungry. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, really hungry. It's oh in the studio. God, we're doing a show. We're doing performances. But now, you know, uh, we can't do that as much as we'd like to because we have uh, responsibilities as well. You just got engaged yeah. recently. Yeah. Congratulations. Shout out to my over there. She's sleeping, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. when we made that album, the Black Sheep album, mm-hmm. we were stuck in the studio for like three years. Wow. It's three years. We, no parties. People invite us to parties. No chill. fam jams. We didn't even go to family. We make our own family family stuff. Yeah. Just every week, every weekend you were there. Every weekend, yeah. Yeah. Sunday. If we can record on weekdays, we record on weekdays just to get a sample. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. it was it was hard making that album, but it was worth it. It was worth it, man. That 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 actually created more more bond mm-hmm. for us. Yeah, you, know? uh, you end up seeing the same people every weekend. Right? I know what you yeah. mean. I see Scott every week. That's the thing. Yeah, like we and Regina have seen each other pretty much every, almost every weekend almost for, every a weekend year. for a whole year. There have been a handful of shows where like either one of us wasn't there. So like, but for the most part, yeah, like we've pretty much seen each other every every Sunday. Yeah. And then and then what we also find is like because we've been doing the show now we get uh, like booked to like host things together as well right. so like no actually you know. no that's not true I've oh, actually, been booked more actually lately <laughs> lately you have been yeah they've been calling oh, like, Sorry. it's fine well it's they, fine. they probably like the chemistry that you guys built right. and yeah. on stage you know yeah. So. yeah I've noticed that like I've noticed even just from like our first few shows to now it's like yeah they the banter is more comfortable right mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just rude what are you talking <laughs> well maybe then and I'm used to it I'm used maybe. to that fine do you guys ever find um um, cause now you've been, you know, you've been at it for quite a while and do, do you ever find when you see younger artists doing stuff, do you ever like recognize things like I, like, so a while ago I was playing a show in Hamilton and there was this band up there that they looked like maybe they were high school kids. Right. And like, they went up there, they plugged in and, and they started playing and I was, my band was playing there as well, like later in the night. Mm-hmm. And I just remember seeing them and I was like, wow, that was, that was me. Like. 10 Does years it bring ago. you back? It brought, yeah. yeah it was just yep. like you ever see that. Like, what, what goes through your Most mind when definitely. you see like somebody starting out the same way? We old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. old. Oh, yeah. I, for me, like, I think the one person I saw that in was this guy named D Zero. Yeah. You know, shout out to Zero from RDR. RDR. Yeah. Um, because when when I first started, I was very energetic on stage. Well, like, you're not anymore. No, like I learned control, <laughs> but um. To the point where I was like, uh, I can't breathe anymore because <laughs> I was moving around too much. So when I saw D Zero go up on stage and he was like so lit, I was like, oh, that kind of reminds me of a little bit of me. And then it kind of makes like for me personally, it made me a little proud because it's like Aww. I see someone else who is in the same shoes as me, um, like doing his music. So right? it's it, I I don't know I I just say random things, but I know some of you are in moving forward in your lives, getting engaged, soon to be married, maybe kids one day. Wouldn't it be cool if you all had like your own little Southeast cartel group? (laughs) 
<laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. The that's, that's, so a, that's a plan. It's the next that's generation. Plan. That's the plan. Just the that's next forever generation, right you know? I hope your girls know what's coming up. They have no choice. That's forever. I already told. I already told Nina like when if we have a kid, uh, the first thing that's gonna happen, we're not even gonna teach it like to talk. language or to talking. <laughs> it's like uh, I'm gonna show you the education of music. Here, beatbox. Right? We're gonna no listen talk. from like 70s, 80s, not even just hip hop, but like mm-hmm. all kinds of music. All kinds of music. I was talking yeah, to my fiance. I was like, no nursery rhymes here. <laughs> <laughs> you're, rap. You're, you're way better. Real you're way rap. past that already. Yo. Are you gonna <laughs> rap? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That. You know, None of that. There's no basic hip, no, no basic rhyming. No basic rhymes. <laughs> They're going to achieve it for us. Well, actually, you know? know, that's a good... Because you know how you ever see... Uh, you'll see videos, especially with YouTube now. You'll see videos of, like, a four-year-old, like, playing the drums. But, like, just as good yeah. as, like, a, any rock musician. Yeah. It's like... Right. Yeah. It's like, because that, that's definitely, like, a parent who mm-hmm. is a musician who, like... Got their kid into it really, really young. So, like, you know, I'm gonna get my like, kids in heels before they can crawl. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So it's like, <laughs> you know, you know who's a bit, uh, who, who I can actually give a really good example for that one, Shanti Dope. Shanti Dope, he was raised around rappers mm-hmm. ever since he was a kid, and look at him now. He's one oh, of the dopest. How old is he? 16? He's young. He's only 16. 16 I, I don't know. I don't know how old. He, he is right Somewhere now. In the teens, yeah, for sure. But he's uh, Pumsy's, I think, nephew. But he's already yeah. touring. Yeah, international. He's yeah. a professional yeah. uh, rap yeah. artist. Awesome. Yes, he is. Mm-hmm. Well, because there's definitely something like those formative years, right? Like kids like soak things up way They're faster, sponges, and like, yeah. and every year you get older, it's almost like it gets harder and harder. So if you can get all that stuff into a child young, mm-hmm. who knows? We're gonna have um, writing workshops. <laughs> <laughs> not not play dates, yo. Writing workshops. Mm-hmm. Visions sure. kids are gonna have the camera. Like we got this. Right. Right. That's crazy. We can't wait. I can't wait. Can you guys wait? <laughs> They're like, we're waiting. <laughs> Three that time. No kids right now. I know who, who's gonna have the first one. <laughs> Keith, Keith Skills. Uh, uh, shit, he already has one coming. It's been there, man. So there's a lot of you, like we said. Is there ever a point where you guys just clash, at, like clash, and you're like, oh, no, yeah, we don't yeah. want to. Oh yeah, it happens. Oh, oh yeah, it happens. It happens. But um, at the end of it? the day, it's all about respect, mm-hmm. and and what's more important is being peace, mm-hmm. being at peace with each other. You know. And yeah. and I want to add to that too. It's like um, like these guys, like we love each other, mm-hmm. like to the sense of like we're not just a group, we're not just art, like a crew or a squad like we're family and we understand that when you're in a family you guys are gonna bicker you guys are gonna argue there's some times where like i might not talk to one of these guys uh for a a bit my (laughs) thumb no not that because like like maybe i did something wrong Mm. and then i know i did something wrong so like i'd feel guilty Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day like or if someone was to argue with me about something i was for me i always think like no because these guys want me to get better um, these guys are pointing out my mistakes because they they care for me, um, so yeah. I can't stay mad at them because their their intentions are always like for the group mm-hmm. or for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how I feel. I don't know, but hopefully these guys feel the same. Actually, <laughs> the thing I that the same. I always like like remind my team about it is uh, never put ego on top of mm-hmm. each and everybody. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because um, I think that's one thing that's going to bring a whole family down is like being egotistic and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like for us as a person, we all have egos and stuff, right? But when it comes to my family, we don't have that. That's one thing about our group. That's thing because if Vision has a problem with me, he tells me I'm not going to put any ego towards him because yeah. he's, he's my brother, right? So I listen to him, I apologize, and we good. Mm-hmm. That's it. Except, except when Keith says Fam he just King, wants you know? a sip of your <laughs> uh, bubble tea, <laughs> and he freaking thing. drinks half <laughs> in one go, <laughs> then, right. then you get no, no forgiveness. He's, he's the bro. most hot headed, actually. Keith, yeah, Keith is the most hot headed. He looks like but he's, he's the nice the guy. best guy. He seems so calm. Yeah, yeah he's really chill there. So he's the most like this thing, the chillest person ever, man. So chill. But that kind of conflict can also, I think that can. You can bring out better art in a lot of ways, right? Because right. you're all, even if you're clashing, you're all, mo- you're all moving towards the same goal, right? Mm-hmm. So it kind of, 
Like, even my, my own band, when we'll argue with each other, I'll be like, like, one guy, he'll point out, like, something sounds bad. And I might get mad. I'm like, no, I've been working on this for so long. What do you mean? But then you realize I finally listen to it from how he's hearing it. I'm like, actually, yeah, it could be better. You know, yeah. and maybe I wouldn't have done anything if they hadn't said anything and, and right. you know what i find with that too is like you end up having a sense of like trust with your bandmates same thing yeah, with yeah. groups because like like you said sometimes you don't know if what you're doing is right or if it could be better yep and for someone to point it out it's not just having respect for them to listen but actually trusting them to be like okay let me take what you've said and actually see if i could do that or if i can make it better yep um and sometimes the trust is you just got to give it because there's sometimes like you might not even feel like that's what it's supposed to be or you need to make it better mm -hmm. but if your brother's telling you like no no you could do that better like do another take even after 20 takes and he's like still like no you could do it better like you, you have to trust them right mm -hmm. to just do it so yeah and you don't even think i some of the most like famous bands even you you see how like they created some of their best music and then after some of them went solo it's like they would never achieve that same level because you think maybe there was something in that group mm -hmm. like that like Spice Girl. Yes, but yeah, well, the Spice Girls, even like the Beatles, were never as big. Um, like even Queen. Well, maybe maybe it's about the money too. Mm. Like oh, how yeah. the contract was made for each and everybody. Because back like then, you, you guys got to think about it. Like back then, it was hard for artists to make money. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're in a band, right? And usually, it's all about money, man. Like, good thing for us. We it's don't really food. care. About so we learn from the beginning. We don't yeah. care about money. It's all about food. Man. It's all about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we work and then we work on our dreams. You know. Right? Yeah. Like to to kind of build up on that. Um, when we made Southeast or we joined Chai's because Chai's already created Southeast before mm -hmm. the rest of us joined. So I always like to say we're like Generation Two because mm. he had the first um, generation of SCC and then we came in after. Um, right from the start. We never really thought about oh let's put out music or let's put out videos to make money mm. uh we always kind of understood that the money will come later but first focus your time and um your on your passion mm -hmm. uh, and make music for the sake of enjoyment and for the sake of you wanting to create quality music yeah. right. and even even when we started doing merch um like t-shirts hoodies and hats initially we weren't thinking like oh we're gonna make like a pretty decent amount of money it's just like oh the fans I've been asking us like because we would make our own stuff for ourselves yeah. right so we would represent ourselves and people start asking oh can i buy that or like where yeah. can we get that we get that with our t-shirts yeah. can yeah. you get a t-shirt yeah. yeah. no. so and then i think right. like after we actually put it out we were surprised because we're like wow always can't believe we made out. this much money <laughs> always sold yeah. out right? so you guys have awesome. a huge fan base like we've seen the amount of followers that you have on your social media so now that you're making music and i'm sure some of these kids are a lot younger are you more careful with the type of lyrics that you put in it or the meanings behind the songs that you're putting out? Or do you think about that? Or, or... I just, That's... Well, oh, for me, ahead. I do now. Yeah. Because, you know, I got I got to be responsible. Like, I'm more exposed now. I, I feel like, yeah. just for me, like, we're more exposed now right. as SEC. So if he says something bad or like a curse word, I would try to like input or like i would try to say something really nice or something mm -hmm. that will be inspiring to somebody right you know, just to balance it out so you know so, that, so what you're saying is we should curse in every single one of no, our no yeah. <laughs> <Just saying, laughs> well, for me I, I, i'm really <laughs> conscious of what i say now <laughs> as opposed to back 10 years then. ago yeah yeah, yeah. because That's back so then true. it's all That's just so about true. just making noise mm -hmm. you know right like, really hip-hop is all about just you know feelings mm -hmm. i feel this i don't care if i offend you whatever because it's really competitive but now as as a i guess i've grown um i feel like i need to be in control of what i really say and the verses maybe i should go over it again or something like that i'm actually curious with like the rest of the group like what how they actually make music because we never actually really talked about it oh in this way we just oh. record it we, we just kind of are on the same wavelength at times but we never actually sat down and be like oh like why do you write your music like this or okay so why do you write your music the way that you do <laughs> i think as um artists in general um you have to be conscious of what you say when it comes to to yeah. lyrics mm -hmm. yeah especially today because society is a little society. bit more sensitive <laughs> than than years ago but at the same time, you got to be 
real with what you say. You gotta be right. yourself still. You yeah. can't you can't just say things because oh, like these group of people are gonna like it. You gotta stay true to yourself. Oh, yeah, That's so true. Yeah. How do you guys or anybody else want to weigh in? Um, Yo, Keith, what about you, man? You've been so quiet this whole time. You, you need to add. He's too comfortable. You need to contribute, yeah, bro. How do you write, how do you write your song, bro? <laughs> I don't really write my song. I just oh, freestyle. See? He just freestyle. Okay, okay freestyle. so can you freestyle something right no. now? <laughs> <laughs> he actually does freestyle his lyrics. He yeah. cannot write. So no. we he cannot write. So basically, we have we have a writing. system. So for you're like Keith. a one hit wonder. Like yep. it just gotta be. That's, that's cool though. So it's it's very stream of consciousness. It's almost like. I almost like it's more you raw that feel way. It, yeah. Like you go in yeah, and just yeah. whatever you're kind of feeling at that moment. Like is. I usually call Ray G once I find a good beat and I'm like, beat. Yo, Ray, what are you doing? Yo, it's actually me beat. and him who looks for beats yeah. Yeah. most of the time. Mm-hmm. Like me, I like um, I like I like trying new stuff. Yeah. Like blessing, I didn't expect blessing to go like that but it's so catchy because like me i I like i like to try different beats right because usually right now what's on um like the mainstream filipino hip-hop are more on trap music Mm. trap trap soul trap this trap that you know Mm. and i was like thinking okay i want i want something different something something flavorful you know for for us and at the same time like we want to represent like still hip-hop you know because um everything is hip-hop but for our team is unique it is see one uh, thing that i know. really admire about these guys is like yeah. he has his own style yeah. mm. vision has his own style he he freestyles yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? i'm really uh, i'm more of He's like an old singer. school guy mm-hmm. um and reiji he has his own style too you know he's my ghostwriter so <laughs> and and when when we when we just just put them in like Miracles happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it just, it just works. works. Yeah, it just you works. Know? Yeah, that's that's like it's and, crazy. It's I, magic. I want to add on to like what Chai's was just saying too, uh, in terms of like um, having uh, music creativity mm-hmm. and thinking about our the type of music we're putting out. Uh, as a group, we have like a specific kind of direction mm-hmm. as a as a whole of how we want to create music, but at the same time, each of us has our own personal goals, has our own personal view of. Yeah. why they want to create music or how they want to create their music mm-hmm. so what you heard earlier like everybody was kind of explaining their mentality when it comes to writing stuff and and what they actually perceive and freestyling stuff. and freestyling <laughs> um and i think that's that's something that uh makes a lot of bands as well <laughs> right. like really great which is taking a lot of creativity and different points of views and different angles of how to attack for us like a beat mm-hmm. because if you listen carefully like I don't rap like Chai's if I rap Tagalog, but this flow alone is very different. The content, the word choices, mm-hmm. right? From Chai's to, to Vision, they both rap Tagalog, but They're the flows different, are different, yeah. their pronunciation is different, and the selection of the words are different. But their outfits are very similar today. Yeah. <laughs> they're matching today. We're a B1 and B2. <laughs> so, bananas and pajamas. And I think, like, for us, it's, we it's very important. This. <laughs> yeah. It's very important that we show our individuality, mm-hmm. but still be part of the group. Um, and that comes down to like why we make music as well. And when you listen to Southeast, you're gonna know who Franchise is right away. Mm-hmm. Um, not really by the voice, but if you see the way he formulates his stuff, you'll know. Yeah. Oh, that's Chai's or like, that's oh, franchise. that's Biggs. Like me and Biggs were the majority that raps in English, mm-hmm. but you'll never get Biggs confused with me or me yeah. confused with Biggs um, because the, we have our own style. Yeah, because yeah. Raymond is more lyrical. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, actually, is, um, is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because uh, me, I was born and raised in the Philippines. Like, I just got here in like, uh, 2009. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, 2009. And I don't know, but I was born in Cebu. So in Cebu, we don't really... It's a different dialect. Yeah, yeah. it's like we're... I don't know, I'm just used to writing English. Because ever since I was home, I was already writing in English. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and these guys are super lyrical. <laughs> I'm like, you know... Like it's, it's it was hard at the beginning. It was really hard for me to to fit in, you know. Well, it's, it's because I think in hip hop, when it started, it, it's it's like an art, you know. You can't mm-hmm. just say words. You have mm-hmm. to say words, and then like it's it kind of has like a, a deeper meaning to it. Right. It's so, not empty words. There's like yeah, a meaning it, yeah. Purpose. There's a reason why I said that line, or there's a reason why this rhyme with this rhyme you know with this word or whatever so, so when you're freestyling what goes on in your head 
food. Food. <laughs> food. 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 He's gonna get food right up. Besides too. food, what is going on in your like? Do you feel the music? You're feeling the beat. Like if I still feel food. the beat. Lumpia. Lumpia. <laughs> <laughs> like if I feel the beat, if I really do like it, maybe I'll, like I'll start freestyling and then I'm, I'm gonna call Rage. I'm like Rage, yo, check out this beat. It, it sounds really nice. And then. Once that happens, he's, he usually writes it down for me because I usually forget <laughs> quicker. So that's how I usually do like my stuff, so my music. So yeah. if we got a beat for you right now, oh, no. oh, <laughs> you know, oh, I'm not, dude, you, you're like the no, best freestyler here, man. Actually, up, actually, Keith is the best freestyler, man. Yeah, like yeah. for me, like yeah. Keith, uh, yeah, when really. he writes his stuff, it's it's is 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 man. really <laughs> entertaining. But but when he freestyle. He's really entertaining. So who th- do any of you guys beatbox? Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, we no, uh, but you you're the one freestyle. freestyle. I got you, bro. I got you. I, I'm a beatboxer. You uh, know I'm, I'm a beatboxer. <laughs> I, got, I can beatbox. Okay, beatbox. I want. Let's right. do it. Okay, can we're you doing pre- this. Can you freestyle about the sit down? You're not the one beatboxing. Yo, you're the one singing. I can't freestyle. You gotta freestyle about the sit down. I can't on the spot. spot. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't on the spot. You do it. I'll beatbox. Okay, I'll I'll mix the audio. Okay. All right, are we doing this? Okay. All right, let's let's do it. Is it loud? Uh, yeah. Take it. <laughs> Arayko. 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 You got two mics. Right. <laughs> go, go, go get it. I'll be the hype man. <laughs> Yo, st- slow down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See? Slow down. Oh, <laughs> See? <laughs> slow down, right? Slow. All right, ready? It's slow. 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 <laughs> slow. slow. Guy, like, ready? Slow. I'll be the hype man. Uh-huh. Hey. 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 Key. Skills. Uh, what's up? What's up? Yo, 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 uh, yo. Southeast cartel in the booth. You know how we get down with e- Scott and Regine repping the sit down. E- uh, <laughs> up here with the SEC. We straight what? killing and pushing all the MICs and all the MCs. Bowing down to the greatest. Everybody knows we always on time, but we the latest. When it comes to the fashion, when it comes to the good, everybody knows, homie, oh, it's all hood. So let's yeah. get it. Hey. <laughs> wow. Now it's big soon. You gotta freestyle too. Oh, man. Come on. I can't I can't I can't freestyle, bro. That was Why? world a world Be- exclusive. Okay, wait, I need a, wait, I need another show. beatbox. Okay, ready, Scott, you're next. Oh, 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 oh she very small beat, very small I don't I don't I don't I don't think it's a very good beat. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. But I don't I, I don't know. Come on. Okay. Right. They're, they're already waiting for you. What am I gonna say? What am I doing? But I don't even anything, anything, anything. Or make a song. <laughs> or a I, I'm gonna. Why are you? Okay, fine. Just do it. Slowly. Get it. Get. Go get it. Go get We're it. We're gonna hype you up. Hey, 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 hey. Here I'm sitting go. here at my desk with Southeast Cartel. Hey. Everybody knows we're gonna do well. Hey! hey. hey. Okay. Nope. That was good. That was good. That was dope. That was dope. You got two bars in, yo. That was good. Nice. Right? I rhymed it. Oh my goodness, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. But you know what's you know what's what what what's unfair though? Regine put you on the spot, so I think Regine no, should, no, 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 should no, also no, be put no, on no, the spot. No, oh, right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah, let's do it. Keith, oh, no. hit us yeah, up yeah, with another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no one wants to hear that. Hey, oh, uh, hey, it's too late. What's up? Keep going. What's up? Mm-hmm. No. Come on, here we go. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down. Well, that was awesome. Um, before we wrap up, I know you guys. Uh, you guys are gonna go plan to go to the Philippines next year. Is that? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we are. February. Tell, yes, tell me about are. that. Tell us about that. Vision. Go uh, tell okay. us about that. <laughs> so, we're all going back home. Um, February. February what? Twenty second oh, wow. is when we're gonna fly out. Um, the first week, we're all going to spend it in, in Boracay. Mm-hmm. Um, me and my fiance are going to get married. Aww. Oh, yeah. After that, beautiful. Thank you. After that, some of us are going to Manila. Some of us are going to Cebu. But we're all going to rendezvous back in uh, Manila. Manila. Where we're going to do a concert. Amazing. Yeah. It's going to be. Yeah. It's going to be. Yeah, local. When it, Shout when out. Is it gonna United be? Locals. Um, was it March 13th? Um, yeah, we're we're setting the date for March 13, so um, that's sick. but nothing's official until we have the poster out. So, Sweet. so you guys are gonna be there for True. quite a while, like a, like a month or something, or yep. yeah, yeah, a yes. month. That yeah. sounds awesome. So when I leave the Philippines, you guys are just getting there. I'm going in the beginning of February. Extend your trip. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a lot of vacation at work. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Aww. 
Well, that's amazing. So, uh, guys, uh, follow these guys and uh, stay tuned for that. Mm-hmm. People in the Philippines. Do you They're guys coming. have any shows here in Toronto before? Um, yeah, we actually. Well, next week we're gonna be just opening up for our, our homies, uh, Jam and Kevs. They Jam have a show at Music Box. Oh, so we're gonna although be, next uh, week supporting the homies. Uh, along with MPA and a couple other rappers. What rappers. day is that? Saturday next. <laughs> is it the 29th? So Friday. 29th. Sorry, Friday 29th. Oh. So that means that we're means that means so that means that event that event happened two nights ago and it was really good. Yeah, yeah. it was a good oh. show. It was the best. Right? Keith Keith killed it. Keith yeah. killed it. Killed and the then um, we have one killed in the December rice. the 28th. December 28th. Okay, cool. Um, and that one is in Mississauga. So hey, that's in Mississauga. Mississauga. <laughs> awesome. Um, and that's for our homies from the Real Dream Records, so they're going to be putting a show there. Oh, nice. So we'll nice. be one of the performers. Yeah. Very Anything cool. else? No other? Oh, and next 2020 <laughs> Philippines yeah. performance there. There you go. Have you guys performed in the Philippines before? Never. Um, I, I did with uh, Raideen because mm-hmm. I was there like almost two years ago. And uh, what's crazy, I think I told these guys, like, I just went into a place. I wasn't even performing. Uh, but once they much? mentioned, like, they didn't know who Reiji was, but they mentioned Southeast Cartel. Everyone was like, oh, Southeast Cartel, Southeast Cartel. That's I it. didn't even realize they knew us, like, that heavy there. That's so. awesome. That's crazy. That's can't so wait. Cool. I yeah. can't wait, too. Wicked. So there you go. Southeast Cartel is coming to the Philippines. They're coming soon. Coming well, guys, this was, uh, this was awesome. We really awesome. appreciate you guys. Thank you for having stopping us. Thank you, thank so thank you much. for the sparkling appreciate water. And, uh, thank yeah, yeah thank you for the sparkling water. Only the best. Water. Only the best. But you know what? Guests. We've actually been. I've been wanting to have you guys on this show for a while. Like, ask. That's like, true. Yeah. She's I've been, meant, like, I kept saying, like, we need to get them because I'm seeing, yeah. well, mostly on your Facebook, just all this conversations about getting Pinoy hip hop out there again. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Scott, we need to give them this platform. We need to get them on the show and to have it happen a year later. There you go. Yeah. We Man. made it happen. Thank you very much thank for you, uh, thank you so much for pushing that. I, I always we push things. I'm like, let's do it. Sure like <laughs> yep. Southeast Cartel. Music. Yes, sir. I don't think his mic is on. Oh, oh, I turned it down for the beatbox. There oh, sorry. There you go. Oh, make sure you like our page. You know, you lost it. Make sure you like our page, Southeast Cartel Music, on Facebook, mm-hmm. and uh, follow us on Instagram. And check out the website www.southeastcartel.com. You already know. Yes, sir. And we'll put it in the link you, below. We'll put it in the description below. You guys have your own social media that people can follow. Oh, yeah. If you uh, want, you can yeah plug those. For Instagram, uh, mine is uh, it's Ragey. That's I T Z Z R A Y G E E. Oh yeah, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. I got that messed up. Sorry. Uh, my fiance just corrected me. It's a uh, Drus the Legend. D R U S S. D A L L E G E N D. It's my favorite character from a book. So. Nice. Go ahead, Chaz. So mine is franchise. F R A N C H I double Z E. Mine is Keith and underscore skills with two Z. Also, he's single. <laughs> yes, he is he's single. single. Yeah, he, he is single. Is single. single. He's very ready to <laughs> mingle. Yes. Yeah, it is with two Z. I'm not single, but my Instagram is very uh, <laughs> vision. V E R A. V I S I O N. Forgot it, bro. Yeah, and mine, follow me on Instagram. It's big6000. It's B I G G triple Z. Six thousand. <laughs> going on here. Triple Z. <laughs> triple Z. Yeah, 6,000. <laughs> That's it. Sweet. And uh, find Southeast Cartel on all the social media. How come there's platforms? no Zeds in Southeast Cartel? Well. And Regine, where can people find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at it's Regina Lena. That's I T S R E G I N E A L A I N A. Or if you want to continue following my pageant journey, you can follow the Ms. Galaxy Canada page. Um, yeah, where can they find you besides here, Scott? Well, yeah, you can find me right here where you're watching this on YouTube at uh, youtubecom Brown. and you can find me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, although honestly, Facebook as well. But those are just satellites from my YouTube channel. I have the most fun on my YouTube channel, and. Um, Go find me there. And we're here on his YouTube channel once again with Southeast Cartel. Thank you guys again for Boop. being yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you guys so thank much. You. We really appreciate thank you guys you. stopping by. Thank you for getting Scott to rap in a freestyle. Yes, sir. I mean, I think that, was, that might have been you more than... But You're I appreciate welcome. the beatbox. That was cool. Awesome. Yes, and, sir. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Thank, thank you. All the best. Thank you all for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you guys next we'll week. We'll see you for Scott's live. birthday special. Actually, yeah, and we'll actually be we'll be live because uh, I'll be in Amsterdam. And I wonder, do you think you and I have during this episode have been in the live chat chatting with people the whole time? I definitely will. Be. I I'm hope my hope is that I found some comfortable spot in Amsterdam somewhere where I can tune in and, and, and 
and watch the show live. I'll be there live. I'm sure these guys will be there. So we'll see you in the chat down below. Oh, and also the show's on Spotify as well. So if you want to listen to this audio, you know, while you're driving around, you can do that too. And then search Southeast Cartel. And then on search Spotify. Yeah. Search Southeast Cartel. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you guys next time. Seth, take it down. See you guys. Bye. Thanks for coming. Peace. Thank you. Peace. Later, guys. Bye.